Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video, and today I am going to unbox the Yesu FT991A HF, VHF, UHF, all mode transceiver. Of course, I paid a total of $1,242 and change. forgot the exact amount. Um, I got this from Giga Parts. It arrived here about a week ago, and I'm doing the unboxing today. Of course, this was in... Inside another box is a bigger box that's right behind me, and it was well packaged. They even had this uh, uh, these air airbag type things. It was quite. It arrived, you know, no problems. Box looks immaculate. Okay, no damage, no nothing. So let's open the box. So let's open this. Of course, the box itself is not taped up. Uh, of course, like I just said, this box was inside another box. It's quite big, actually. And uh, let's just uh, open this without knocking over this camera. Of course, we have our big old manual. We have a little uh, limited warranty card. We have a uh, sticker here. And, of course, inside in the back, we also have the map. I mean, every time you buy AC radio, they always come with the included map. And this looks like some type of fuse. Okay. I'm put this aside over here. And this is the microphone. Okay, let's take it out of the box. And so this is the microphone. microphone right here and of course this is the bracket for the microphone so let's just throw that in here and stock the ASU microphone there and of course this is uh, the power connection cables uh, let me see if I can stick out the tape here Okay, so this goes to your uh, back of the radio, the power source to your power supply, which I already purchased one. I'm not going to take it out of here, but you get the idea. Okay, pretty thick. Looks very, uh, very thick copper there, very uh, thick wires, very good. Okay, and we have nothing here, so let me just put that in the other box. Okay, and we're going to carefully lift this out. Of course, we carefully lift it out the box. So this is the front. And this is the one form is for the front, one form is for the back. So let's just put that over here. Okay. And of course, there it is. And uh, let me just pull this out. We won't be using this. And there is a kickstand here. There you go. Okay. And of course, this is the front, of course. Okay, so you got your tuning knob right here. You got your nice uh, display screen here. Your power button, your microphone goes here, of course. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty much uh, from what I seen about this radio and heard that this radio, you basically, uh, you don't even, you basically don't need the manual. Uh, you can get up and going with very little, uh, you know, basic knowledge. Of, uh, of course, I have the yeah, the Zygo G90. So, uh, from the videos that I've seen, it's pretty much uh, I'll be up and running in no time. Of course, I already purchased a power supply. And let's take a look at the back. And of course, you got your antenna connectors here. Your This is your HF and uh, 6 meters, uh, 50 megahertz. This is, of course, for the power, the DC uh, on power. And this is for the VHF, UHF right here. Okay, so they're both uh, SL239, which is awesome. 
Of course, you got your uh, ready uh, data connector there. Um, over here, you have your tuner linear connector. And over here, you have your GPS cat connector. Now, of course, I went ahead and ordered a GPS antenna. It is already here. Okay, now I'll do a separate little unboxing for this. It's in here, actually, the GPS antenna. I got mine from AliExpress. I forgot what the price was. I think it was under, I think it was around uh, $12 or so. I'm trying to remember the exact amount. Uh, anyway, I got the GPS antenna. Only reason why I want it, because uh, when you're doing, uh, for example, C4FM and things like that, um, you, they want you to put in the coordinates. Um, I don't want to do that. I'd rather just, especially if you do plan to uh, use this out, outdoors. GPS antenna is pretty simple. You hook it up the R2, RS-232 connector. You put the GPS antenna. And then it has a separate USB power because you, uh, you need to power it up 5 volts. And so I got that. So I'm going to hook that up. Over here, of course, is the USB. Uh, of course, I'm going to be doing FTA. So this is for uh, digital modes and so on. It has built-in sound. Built-in sound card. Of course, you see it right here. The external speaker. But there isn't built-in sound. So... FTA is going to work right out, right out the box. No problem with that. And I will definitely be doing that. And, of course, there's the ALC uh, uh, connector and so on. Of course, you got a nice fan here. And pretty much, uh, you know, uh, looks pretty good. And, of course, you got your ground connector right here. Of course, there is nothing on this side. There is a couple of, I guess you could put the handle. The handle's on the... Uh, Right side of the radio player, you can switch it over to this side if you want to put the handle here. Okay, and as you rotate it, and I'll show you the handle is right here. This is, uh, believe it or not, a portable. Okay. Of course, like I mentioned, I did get the GPS antenna. You see, RS-232 at 9600 baud. Uh, 3.3 to 5 volts. I will put the link in the description for the GPS antenna. Let me just take it out the bag, give you a, a better look of it. So this is the GPS antenna. This is the antenna. It has a sticker. Oh, it's not magnetic mounted. It was mag mounted too, but it's not. It's just it has a 3M uh, type sticker on it. Of course, this goes to your back of the radio. This goes to an external power source like a, a USB wall ward or, you know, I have a USB hub that's going to be nearby. I'm probably going to power with that. Uh, it's a self-powered hub. So this is the GPS antenna, okay? So that way I don't have to put in coordinates and all that. It'll automatically uh, update it. Okay. Of course, there's a microphone. You just connect it right in there. It has one of those, uh, it looks like a RJ11 type connector, uh, like Ethernet type connector. Okay, which is, uh, uh, my other Yesu also has the same thing, so they're all pretty much the same. And my initial thoughts about this radio is, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy this radio very much. Um, I was, of course, leaning toward the ICOM IC7300, but the reason why this one really caught my attention was the VHF UHF. The ICOM IC7300 has a beautiful display, has a bigger display. And that one I also does uh, six meters, 50 megahertz. So this one is HF, 50 megahertz, and then VHF UHF. And that's great. The VHF UHF alone is, uh, on top of that, is pretty good. But also, the fact that this has C4FM and you know for digital voice, um, that was that's what that was the selling point for me, because of course I'm dabbling into DMR right now. I am enjoying doing uh you know doing DMR. Of course, I am a technician level license, so of course I do FTA with the ten meter band. Uh, now I can do. Uh, FTA on six meters, you know, conditions, you know, if conditions are right. Also, of course, um, 
I'm gonna be going. I'm gonna be working toward my general. Hopefully, in the immediate future, I should get my general license, and then I can use this for the uh, you know HF. So there you go. So this is the unboxing of my Yesu FT nine nine one A. And now I just gotta find a location where I want to put this at. Of course, I did buy a power supply with it. I will make a separate video on unboxing that, but it's a power supply. I I did show it on the uh, I will show the box on the one of my live streams, but I'll do a separate unboxing on that. Um. Anyway, so I'm all set. I got the power supply. The only thing I need to do is find an area where I can set this at. I'm looking at putting a, a, a little area like a table or something. And I want to have a computer nearby because, of course, I'm going to be doing FT8 with this also. And, yeah, so there you go. So, anyway, there you go. Unboxing the Yesu FT991A. And definitely I will be having uh, loads of fun with this beautiful transceiver. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.